What is up, guys? Welcome to the Talkative Epileptic. My name is Gil, also known as OCC Coolboy in the streaming world. I do appreciate you guys for joining in on our first episode of the Talkative Epileptic. You know, obviously we're calling it the beginning because it is the beginning. And I want to give you guys the information on why it's called the Talkative Epileptic and also what to expect in the coming episodes. So... The reason the podcast is called the Talkative Epileptic is basically from two words, talkative and epileptic. And for talkative, it focuses a lot on my history with broadcasting. Um, I started broadcasting when I was in community college. Uh, that's when I was first introduced to uh, to radio and got really into it so much that I ended up having my own morning show and also co-produced seven other shows and grew a lot from that. My knowledge in radio and broadcasting grew from that to the point that I actually transferred schools. And then once I transferred to schools, I went straight to the radio station at the other school and immediately was broadcasting for them and soon became the station manager for my final semester, my final year of the, uh, at the college. And once I graduated, I immediately went straight into radio. I worked as a production assistant for a public radio station and worked as an audio engineer. Um, and also I would say, as a uh, an associate producer because I would help with shows and um, the broadcasting of it. And I also was a promotions assistant at another radio station, which then also grew to me working as an overnight board operator and um, almost began mic work there. But um, 2020 came and I actually lost all my jobs in both radio stations because of um, because of COVID, uh, sadly, one of the stations shut down and I was let go from my job, um, at the other one. So 2020 was a, you know, a, a it, it was an impact for sure. And it was at that point that I was wondering why, I mean, how can I work on my mic work while not being hired at a radio station at the time? And then the idea popped in my head, why don't I stream? That's when I began starting streaming in April of 2020. I started streaming on Twitch and then became an affiliate, um, you know, months later um, after doing a bunch of streams at different games and even chatting too. Um, and then it grew from there. And I, you know, as the years passed by, I began, you know, becoming more comfortable behind the mic, talking about different topics of random subjects and um, here we are today, um, already with the podcast. <laughs> but as the year, um, as the years passed by, I became more comfortable behind the mic and even in front of a camera, and have been uh, streaming ever since nonstop. And it's been a wonderful experience of me meeting different people, um, especially people uh, who I've you know have gained connections with and it's just been a you know a wonderful experience that I will you know I'm never going to forget for sure and in regards with the second uh word, regarding the second word um epileptic that obviously has a strong reason for that I was diagnosed with epilepsy when I was 12 years old I do want to go more and focus on the topic of epilepsy but I want to save that for an episode later on because I'm still gathering information on the topic. So that is the reason why I'm not really going in depth on it right now, but I do want to save it for a later episode. And, you know, it, it, it's a long journey for sure. Um, it, it's been a very long journey with um, me, you know, becoming comfortable with my seizures and, you know, becoming more comfortable with, with me accepting it. it. It's a whole, it's a whole story for sure. And I, I do want to save that, you know, for last. So you guys are, you know, do know my story for sure. 
So next up, we're going to talk about um, how the format is. Um, I do want to focus, uh, we will be having guests on the show. Um, not on every show we'll have guests, but there will be some shows that we do have guests. And um, some shows will be pre-recorded um, and some shows will be live streamed. Um, either for guest preferences or regarding topics. Because some topics, you know, could be that we do have to uh, edit, you know, certain things. Um, and Or either, you know, guests would prefer that the shows be pre-recorded and looked through before. Um, you know, it, it obviously depends on all of that. And, um, for the topic, you know, I do want to focus on like, you know, basic lifestyle of certain guests and even focusing on, you know, some, you know, focusing on hardships because, you know, for me being epileptic, it, it, it has been a hardship for me. It, it honestly has. And so for, you know, for upcoming shows, I do want to focus on, you know, not just like you know, with the lifestyle, but, you know, there has to have been, like, bumps on the road, you know, during the lifestyle, so, you know, and obviously just regular chit-chat, because let's be honest, I, 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 I've been so comfortable behind a mic for now that I'll, we could be talking about a random subject that's not even planned, honestly, so I know we just went over, um, everything about the podcast and the whole format, um, but I wanted to add, uh, a little story, on how the name kind of generated um obviously there are the two the two things i mentioned you know with me being talkative and me having epilepsy but what actually i found the name was from chat gdp when i asked it you know i was trying to come up with name like bring come up with ideas for you know for the name of the show and when it brought up the talkative epileptic i was like that actually fits really well, which is why I actually came, I decided to name the show the Talkative Epileptic Podcast. So because of, um, because of AI being its role in coming up, coming up with the name, I have decided to, for you guys to get to know me more, that we're actually going to use AI to come up with random questions. So we're going to be using an AI generator um, to actually come up with random questions and for us to, um, for you guys to get to know me more. So here's the first question. What is the comfort, what is your most comfort food? So my comfort food, for people who really know me that well, people know that buffalo wings are my, the key to my heart. But, like, I would say for comfort food, a nice, hot Nashville chicken sandwich. And it's even funny because when I had my very first uh, Nashville hot chicken sandwich was actually at Nashville. Oh, man. It, it was, uh, I went with, uh, I was on a trip to Nashville and we were, me and my friend were stuck in, uh, we were stuck in the heat for over an hour just for a chicken sandwich and it was so worth it oh my god it, it was so worth it um okay so the next question what are you a natural at um i would say that i'm a natural when it comes to i'm a natural when it comes to being to places at time on time. I don't know. I feel like when people throw parties or something like that and they say like come at like 7 p.m. I'm always the one that like comes like a minute before the party even happens. Even though people are going to be running late to it. I I'm just that person. Okay. Um, the next question is who was your favorite teacher? I would say my favorite teacher would have to be it would have to be Mr. P from from uh 6th grade. He was my math teacher and uh he would help me a lot with math cuz math wasn't my very like my strongest subject but um like he would be there to like support me and it would be funny cuz like every morning he'd have uh like the the rock radio station on um while we're um, getting prepared for the class 
and he and he was like you know such a nice teacher and it's even crazy because even after i graduated i ironically keep on running into him at uh at the local coffee shop because he always gets his coffee there and um he's known my story of epilepsy um he's obviously been like there completely there like to fully support me and uh he, he's just been like a like a huge inspiration and you know like i wish there are a lot more teachers like just like him that are you know out there in the world and you know just people there to support others and he would be the one that i would say is like my favorite teacher okay um the next question is what superpower would you like and why honestly i would say that i would want oh man i'd want i would want the ability to fly because i just want to like just fly around the world i want to go to like different places for me um i'm a, i like to travel uh i like to go to different places or places i've never been to before and uh even places like outside the country and you know that's why i would i feel like i would pick flying as like my superpower okay next question is what would you do on a free afternoon in the middle of the week so i mean if it's in the middle of the week it's on a weekday if i had a free time you know i would actually tip it for me typically i would run errands i'm a person that like like runs errands all the time and i like to be a productive person usually what would happen is that i would uh run errands i have to get done and like you know depending if i like finish my tasks or not i would like treat myself to like a lot like lunch to myself you know I wouldn't, you know, it's kind of weird because, like, I know some people, like, you know, like to have food with others. For me, sometimes, you know, sometimes you just need to, like, treat yourself to a lunch to yourself. You know what I mean? Just, like, go to your favorite place by yourself. I, I don't know. It, it, it's just I, I've had many of those moments, and uh, that's something that I would typically do, like, if I was free in the middle of the week. Okay, the next question. Would you rather be stuck on a broken ski lift or an elevator? I would rather be I would rather be on the broken ski lift because you know you're going to be above snow compared to a broken elevator where you're going to be it's just going to be pure concrete right down there below. So I would rather be stuck on the broken ski lift. You know, I understand and I feel like and I feel like another thing is that like I understand you're going to be out in the cold if it's a broken ski lift, but for me who's done like camping like a lot of camping and stuff like that i'm used to the cold already like literally i'll be the one that's like walking outside in dirt like in 20 degree weather and like in a pair of shorts and flip-flops that's how crazy i am um <laughs> next question uh what is something you can never seem to finish reality shows i swear to god it's like i get hooked onto like one reality show and then like after I think like when it gets to close to the end of the season, I just totally forget and I never get to finish it. That's something I never seem to finish at all. Um, and also, if I do have to recommend uh, a reality show to watch, uh, Below Deck is one of my favorites. I highly recommend you watch it. Um, what is okay? Next question: Pancakes or waffles? Oof, that's a tough one. I honestly love both so much. But I feel I have to give it to pancakes because um, it, it's like every uh, so there's like a family tradition every Sunday. Uh, my father actually makes pancakes and uh, he makes like the best pancakes ever. And um, it's always a tradition that like, you know, on Sunday morning, like the family comes together for breakfast and then have like, you know, my dad's pancakes. So I feel like I have to have to give the pancakes over waffles, honestly. Okay, the next question is, what role do you play in your with your friends? So, I feel for me, like, I'm the one that's, like, the supportive one. So, like, if a friend's having a, is going through a rough time, or if they're, you know, dealing with a situation that I'm the one that's either, you know, offering them advice or giving them my insight on it. Um, and it, it's something I love to do. I'm a person that loves to give advice on certain things. 
um, or, you know, to support friends that are either going through a rough time or, you know, supporting them if they're, you know, like going for an achievement. I feel like I'm the one that like, I'm like the very supportive one, you know, in the friend group. Um, okay, let me go to the next question. Next question is favorite book. Okay, so there is a favorite book I have. It's actually called, um, uh, what is it? It's called, uh, I believe it's, okay, it's called Modern Romance. It's actually from a uh, comedian that actually wrote the book, and it focuses on dating in the, in like, in today's world, which, like, you know, focusing on, like, you know, on dating apps and stuff like that. It's a whole, like, re like, a kind of, like, a, you know, half story, half research, like, statistic book. It's actually really good, and it's something I usually would read, like, during my free time, like, if I'm not, like, near any, like, electronics at all, or if, uh, and I've actually, I've taken this book with me to, like, airports, so, like, it's something I read, like, if I'm ever traveling, and I actually, that's actually a book I recommend, uh, I would recommend others to watch, I mean, sorry, not watch, to read. Um, the next book, I mean, that's <laughs> not the next book. <laughs> what do you man see this is when you know like when it's all this recording that like you know it, it's already driving your brain your brain nuts um what do you like most about your family honestly I would say that um the thing I would like the most I mean, the thing I like most is that they're very supportive um even if I think of the wildest things to do <laughs> they'll be supportive of me um, and also, and I, and I know I'm going to mention it, like, when it comes to the time I make that episode, uh, focusing on, like, my journey with epilepsy, um, but they've been very supportive, um, since the very beginning of that, and I'm forever grateful for that, you know, especially, like, you know, my parents, um, you know, dealing with, like, the constant hospitalizations and, you know, the, the, the bumps on the roads that we've had to deal with. Um, I feel like the one thing I just, I admire the most about my family is just the support and the, you know, the support and compassion that they, that they give, honestly. Favorite city. Hmm. So favorite city, I'm up to say New York city. Not, not just cause I was born and raised in New York city, but, um, you know, I, I would say, like, just that the diversity that that New York City has, in my opinion. It's a very diverse city, and, you know, it, it's a very, uh, it, it's a very diverse and welcoming city, in my opinion. When people come for help, what is it usually for? I would say, when it comes to help, people usually come to me for help if it's in situations that they're in or you know like like I'm not going to mention names or whatever but I know there's like you know that people have asked me for like relationship advice or even like advice on situations and well, regarding like schools I think because like I also was like a peer advocate in you know at my college so it's a, it's a, I would say it's a mix, honestly, N never anything in particular, but I would say it's just advice on like in situations that they're in, if it's regarding relationships or if it's regarding just financial, I mean, I'm not like a huge financial expert, expert, which I always tell them, but you know, if it's like, you know, if I'm in this situation, what do I do? It, like a lot of those basically. Um, do you ever sing when you're alone and what do you sing? The answer? Yes. I do sing. I, you know, at times I'm alone, I do sing. Um, if I could think of the song I last sang when I was alone, I believe the last song I sang when I was alone was, uh, oh, Africa by Toto. <laughs> that, that song was, that song was a little bit catchy. And I was singing it um, when I was actually listening to it on the drive back home. And then like <laughs> with the windows down, because it, it was nice weather outside. So that uh, would be 
that would be the thing I've sang, the last song I sang. Oh man, and that wraps it up on our list of questions generated by AI. Oh man. So I do appreciate you guys for listening on to the show. Um, again, if you guys do want to stay updated on um, on when shows get released and stuff like that, you can follow our Instagram and Twitter at The Talkative Epileptic. Um, and again, the shows will be coming soon to Apple, Google Play, and Facebook. But if you guys are listening from Apple, Apple, Google Play, or Facebook, congratulations. We're available on all, on all platforms. And um, I do appreciate you guys for joining in again. And I am glad that you guys are joining on the journey with us, um, you know, on the talkative epileptic. And hopefully we, hopefully you guys hear us again soon on our next episode. All right. Thank you so much, guys, and have a good night.